Hello and welcome to episode 24 of my Anno 1404 Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing quests in chapter 5, starting with the quest Relief Supplies for Al Sahir, which, if we have a look over here, he's asking for 8 tons of leather jerkins. At the same time as well, my settlement with my patricians, they also would like leather jerkins. So what I will do is put 8, ten, eight tons of the leather jerkins on my boat and then give my citizens access to the leather jerkins. So uh, let's do that to 10, put 10 in, put it to 1 and then put 2 back and there we go. Right, so this has to go down to here. So let's send it there. Let's go back to my settlement and open up the leather jerkins for the patricians. So let's click on one of the houses. So if you left click, you see you can remove access and give access. So now we should start to see the leather jerkins fill up. It might take a little while. There you go. Now, as that fills up, their um, happiness should go up. With their happiness going up, we should get more money. And that's what it's all about. Keep see this is progressing along. You can see it there. There you go. It just shifted up a bit. So every little helps. All the money we can squeeze out of them. And of course it will keep going up until this gets to max. And how nice is that? It's all about the money. Um, that allows us to get more more settlements with more money. Oh, I think that was my ship arriving, so let's go check. Are these leather jerkins for the refugees? Yep. May Allah bless you. Got you have on a heart of gold. Okay, so that's that quest done. That's Madame Dartois' ships ah. are still attacking the villages in this region. The constant stream of refugees shows no signs of abating. May Allah forgive me, but I don't have enough supplies to feed all of them. Please help. Now this is a problem that he wants 10 tons of dates and milk. The problem being, of course, I need a settlement in order Take to... Take this island ah. as a gift Perfect. in return for your help. Perfect. There must be a few nomads who can help you with your milk and date production. A bazaar and a few houses would be quite sufficient for them. There we go. That's rather cool because that now gives me plenty of room to do what he's just asked me to do. So what I'll need to do though is take my boat back to harbour so I can fill up with resources in order to, to expand this settlement. Now this island has quartz which is going to prove very useful later on in making glass. So yeah I'm going to need to bring resources over here and build up this settlement. And then we can get working on his milk. So he's put the date plantation. Your people are longing for company. That must be this settlement, I imagine. So, yeah, I'm going to have to work out now the best way of placing this. So this where there's nomad houses, I'm guessing that's where the uh, first building will need to go, the, not the marketplace I thought, yeah maybe it is the marketplace, market building, yeah so that's what I'm going to need, I need tools and wood, which my boat will go and collect. I'm going to fill it up. So we need wood and tools and not forgetting stone. Always very useful. Okay, now I will send this boat over to my warehouse here. 
Where is it? There it is. And then I can start developing this coal rank. And Production I'll, has been disrupted. And I need to build up a good sized settlement here because I want to get yeah, enable being able to mine quartz. Because uh, at the moment I've got no way to mine the quartz. You unlock it as your prestige goes up. Uh, somewhere down here, I think. Maybe even further. But yeah, I need to work on this side of my settlement now. See, I've got 50 prestige. I need 100 prestige to be a guest of the Bedouins, which is here. But I'm thinking I'm going to need to be the Sheik's ally at 250 in order to get access to this wonderful quartz. Because with all my market buildings, in order to upgrade them, let's just show you, to the next level, in order to upgrade them, I need glass. And to make glass, I need quartz. So you can see. Anyway, let's check this settlement out. How are we doing? Okay, so I just took them out, but these two are good. That's all good. Bread is now good. Beer. Hmm. Herbs are going up nicely. But the beer is slow. I have got beer, but it's going up slowly. So maybe another brewery and another herb farm which I could place over here oh wow I've gone into the red that must be because of that other settlement so yeah let's get this settlement built up so I can get more money from having more peasants there right let's transfer all of this let's now make these happy by giving them a bazaar. Let's see, is that a good place for a bazaar? Yeah, I think that's as good as it's going to get on this island. Right, that now would keep the local nomads happy. Now, am I wondering, do they repopulate these derelict houses, or do I have to rebuild them? I can't remember since the last time I've done this. But they will need food, so i better check that. Yeah, they got some dates. Oh no, they do move back into the houses. That's cool. That means all Marie these houses... Marie is so excited about this crusade that she is already launching raids all over the place. I keep hearing about new attacks on my people. I implore you, build some warships and help me defend my homeland. Excellent. That's another quest. So, we got three quests there. Very good. And my... Settlement here is now starting to build up, which is also very good. I need to make sure I've got enough dates. So, where's the date farm? Date plantation. Only got two of five. fields date field so why is the date field not oh it is exactly the same hmm. just looks wider there strange as that one two. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me sorry so I could fit one in there it's only missing a corner See how that works out, pans out. Let's put it 
that way around. And infertile desert, so actually I need to, to have a small noria. And there I guess would be the best place for it. should hopefully be enough to keep this one working and this one over here and um, that still needs two more fields though I don't know I don't like the layout the way he's laying. by Allah you've done it and Madame Dartois seems to be sparing this settlement because it is under your protection I have one noble appreciation Okay, yeah, I'm not, I, don't, I don't like the way this has been done there, because there's a lot of wasted space here. A lot of wasted space. I mean, this one needs two more fields. Get one in there. I can't get one. Oh, I can get that there. Yes, yeah, so I've another field there. This is what you have to do, you have to tinker with all your settlements and adjust them. Like so. That now has got its five date fields. This one <coughs> is missing a slight amount up there, but I'm not sure if it's going to affect its production. I think perhaps that's the size that will go 98% because of that. This settlement's building up now. Again, though, it's not laid out very good. Um, what do they need these to make them happy? So they got that, they got that. What's this? Milk. So we need to start producing milk. Milk farms, I guess, can go up here. That means another small noria. Just there. I could have another one down here, I guess, but I'm going to try and keep enough room because I need to have quite a big settlement here for this. And I'm chewing through my money at the moment, but that'll slowly catch up as I get more citizens here. Right, we'll wait for this to fill up, and then I can give them some milk, which will make them very happy. Remember with the small norias, you have to remember to keep clicking on them, topping them up, like so. If they run out, it turns back to desert. But that's got my two date farms in good production. What's this over here? Is it another date farm? Yeah, another date plantation. Oh well, that one will get covered with this no Oh no, it won't. Well, I don't really need this. Is that two? No, I don't need two, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is save some money and get rid of them. Get rid of it all. There we go. That gives me money. Yeah, I think two Your settlement has been awarded a new status. Oh, nice. Very nice. So what settlement is it now? Yeah, so it's the status of settlement. Right, okay. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Hardly any of that's being used. I could move that further down. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And let's, oops, there's the timer. 
Let's put it so we're not wasting because then we can use this to the south. Let's try it there. And now we can have a couple of goat farms. I've got to wait though to see how much this. So I'll carry this on in the next episode. You can see though we need to do a little work on this settlement in order to I might have to destroy some of these houses because this is laid out quite poorly. I like to have blocks of houses like this, like with my other settlement. I don't know, I'll have to reconsider that. For now though, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.